heading to the Cleveland Browns game today at First Energy Stadium, Cleveland, Ohio. Follow me, but first, I have to get ready. So we finally made it to Cleveland. Now we just have to find a place to park. So we managed to find parking and uh, it's not bad, $30, it is what it is. Um, when we went to the Cleveland Indians game, we only paid 15, but this is actually pretty good for a Cleveland Browns parking because usually it ranges anywhere from, uh, well, it could be like 30 to 50 to $60 and the average is usually about 40 to $60. So $30 isn't bad. and. It's pretty much a straight shot when you come out of the garage down right to the stadium. So it's not a bad walk. And we uh, we came early today because the last weekend that we went to the game, we ended up missing first quarter and the kickoff and everything because traffic was so horrible. We ran into accidents along the way, traffic, they had parking blocked off. So we decided, hey, we're just gonna park where we parked before and it looked open and so, so we're actually walking down to First Energy Stadium. The Cleveland Browns are playing Chicago Bears tonight and it starts at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So um, that we're headed there a little bit early. Um, I'm still in bandages uh, from my surgery, so I'm still gonna have to get wheeled to my seat. Um, they'll probably end up upgrading my, my seats anyways, so I'm on the platform, but I don't know if you can see my bandages still bandaged <laughs> so we're headed out of the garage and we're gonna head over there and get in just a tad bit early some pre-game time fun so we finally made it in made it to our seat but I'm mad they made me either take my backpack all the way back to my car or end up throwing it out or pay $10 to check it. And I refuse to pay $10 to check my little $4 backpack that I got on clearance at my local Walmart. So last weekend we came to a preseason game because I bought tickets for my husband's birthday. I walked in with it just fine. I have pictures of me with the backpack. I offered to show them. My backpack is way smaller than the clear Cleveland Browns bag that they allow you to bring in. So I had snacks in there and my husband misunderstood what I said and threw my snacks away along with the backpack. So now I'm out, new snacks, and my $4 Walmart backpack. So it is what it is. It's either that or we had to walk all the way back to the car, which would have took another 15, 20 minutes walk by the time you walk back and walk, walk back to the car and walk back here. And the other problem with that is you didn't have a problem with walking it. I have a ticket. And they would have to unscan this ticket and they don't allow screenshots no more. So how would you get in? I would have had to wait down there for him to go all the way back and all the way back. So I told him to take my $4 Walmart clearance backpack and throw it away. Unfortunately, what I'm not mad about is that. I'm mad that he threw away my snack. But we're here, we made it. They need to be tall. So, I still have to get real to my feet because I'm only three weeks post op surgery. Don't so restrictions for another two weeks. I have one more full week, and my fifth week will release me. And so they have created our seat, and this is our view at the moment.
we're sitting in a, an area with no sun. It's kind of chilly. And I forgot my jacket. So I just went out to look to see if they had any cute blankets I could cover up with. But for $50, I guess I can live with being cold for the night. Game's about ready to start. They just brought the Chicago Bears out.
LA skyline is massive. It's our biggest yeah. yeah.
holding. So no first down. It's only preseason too. Not looking good for this season. Get the hiccups. testing out these new players, but still, not looking great tonight. running backs but now he's hurt looks like he injured his shoulder so it looks like it's number 40 Johnny Stanford we're still at 21 Chicago 6 us it looks like he's walking off the field and okay
signal's kind of shoddy here, so my camera glitches there every now and then. I'm Browns. False start. I'm Browns.
the job done. Now if we can stop Chicago from scoring again, we may just have a chance in the fourth quarter. Still at the top of the fourth quarter. Let's go Browns. Woof, woof.
big play. Here we go. do is hold them back and not let them score or get a field goal. And we don't have much time left in the fourth quarter, but there's still a chance if they can hold them back. So we're at the two-minute warning. Let's stop the Chicago Bears so we can get the ball back and try to get a field goal, anything to get us on the board and score higher. Touchdown would be nice. Two-minute mark. So, I, I'm still uh, on restriction and I'm uh, three weeks post-op surgery. I had thyplasty, so um, my, I call it my ride, but my wheelchair showed up at the two minute mark. So, um, we are actually heading to the, the parking garage where we parked our car and then we gotta head to dinner. But I wanna show you this view real quick. All lit up the terminal tower. So we didn't catch the end of the game, so I'm gonna um, 
see what the score is. Okay, so the final score is 21-20. So Chicago Bears beat us by one point. Um, we missed the last two minutes because my my wheelchair, my ride um, showed up. So they took us out to the gate as far as they're allowed to. So we just found out that the final score was 21 to 20. Unfortunately, we lost this game by one point. But we made a lot of mistakes, a lot of flags. Um, but the second half went better than the first half and we really made a good comeback and we were only down by one point. So I'm really proud of the Browns. They did good in the second half. And even though we lost, we only lost by one point. So right now we're headed to the parking garage where we parked and then we're gonna be heading to dinner. Finally made it through all the uh, traffic with the, the foot traffic and people just stopping in front of you and we made it to the car. So now we're finally on our way to dinner. So after sitting in all that traffic and trying to fight the traffic, we finally made it to our destination for dinner. So hopefully there's no wait. It looks busy, but we'll see. I'm hungry. So we got seated pretty quickly, so we're getting ready to order because I'm hungry. So I'm impressed. It's pretty busy in here. So we're back at the corner alley where we like getting our Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Uh, they have a bowling alley. The decor in here is all in like bowling balls and pins. They have the arcade. So it's all combined in, into like a, like a restaurant slash. You could go bowling, play in the arcade, do some um, the claws where you can win stuffed animals. It's pretty cool in here. It's a nice atmosphere. And definitely, definitely need to eat. Mmm, Philly cheesesteak. I don't eat the bun. His is on a hoagie bun, and he got french fries, and I got a salad. Yum.